Well, hello folks and welcome back to Revolutionary Ulm with a disgusting flag. It's like turquoise, uh, some brown, black, and uh, purple. Again, Paradox, you really need to fix that. Like, can you please give us the option of choosing our own flags when we become revolutionary? At least for the countries that don't have it. Like, what? Why do we have so, such disgusting flags? I haven't really been looking at the world map too much. I have to say, the borders over here are pretty cool. They're uh, actually decent. Because um, sometimes you get border gore, and I hate border gore. But uh, yeah, this this is terrible, for example. Uh, and Lithuania also pretty terrible. But anyway, I think that in this episode, or in, in this episode, a lot is going to happen. But to begin with, we should declare war on Nuremberg. And uh, probably Frankfurt and then maybe move down and attack the Ottomans. That's at least what I'm thinking. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We do need to declare war on Lubeck eventually, but they're allied with quite a bunch of people. Not that I wouldn't be able to take them on, but I don't, I don't feel like doing that right now, mostly because we also would incur the, um, you might create a faction, I don't know, or not a faction, I mean a coalition. Except we are revolutionary and we're pretty badass. Hmm. Anyway, whatever, let's go. Trier is offering Condottieri. You know, since I do intend at some point to maybe take out Trier, I don't mind giving them some money, it's not that much. Oh, Austria joined the war. Well, hello there. Liege, I almost feel sorry for you. I want to dismantle the Empire, but I can't do it right now. I have to be at war with, uh bunch of people at the same time, so, um, yeah. Uh, what the hell? Why did Zhou just join join the war? God damn it. Then I could have almost dismantled the Empire, because I took Liege, I would need Zhou, I need Utrecht, and I need Bremen, basically. Hey, Oldenburg, what up? Do you want to become my vassal? I think you do. Trier, I think it's time for us to start parting. It's uh, It's been a, a nice run. You've done a lot for me, but uh, I'm afraid you're taking up too many slots. And also, you're sort of useless. I'll have to force uh, you to break the alliance with France, though, which might be problematic. But Alas, whatever. Place relative on the throne. Yes. We're going to be Napoleonic about it this, even though we have a kind of... It was sort of a strange turn of events. We have a Romanov who sounds very much like just any other monarch in Europe, but still, uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm actually trying to go for that achievement where you have... I'm not trying, but we, c we could try to go for the achievement where we have uh, our dynasty on eight different country thrones. Let's see, it's right here somewhere. There we go. One family to rule them all. We just need... A few more. Trier entered a military alliance with our enemy. How dare they? How dare they? Lots of people would hate me, but you know what? That's fine. I'm terribly sorry, Franz, but I'm gonna have to force Trier to break their alliance with you. I think this is a good time to force that. Uh, hopefully, the penalty won't be that big. Oh my god, it was gigantic. Holy shit, 50. Uh, but we can we can mend that. We can always give them some money or something. Do we incur even more aggressive expansion? Yes, we do. But we're gonna give this to Oldenburg. We're gonna make Oldenburg uh, our vassal over here in the next few years, and uh, then eventually, hopefully, integrate them. Seems like we might lose the alliance with Cologne, which isn't really that good. Because uh, I'd rather have them on with me for a while more. Uh, but eventually, I mean, if we lose them, that's fine as well. How long is this truce? 1781, and the truce with us is 1780. So, we have to remember that in four years, we're going to attack Trier. Um, good. Damn you, Cologne. Damn you. Alright, well, I don't know what to do now. <sighs> it's pretty shitty. Okay, so the Ottomans are at war with Russia, etc., etc. 
I see that they have a bunch of troops, but I think this is the time to strike. There will be no better time. Let's uh, spread the revolution. Tunis will join in. The French will not join in, which is very unfortunate, but I don't think Tunis is uh, much of a threat, to be honest. Uh, we might have to send our ships home, though. Uh, but everyone's sort of in the middle of a war. Portugal in another war. France in another war. Yeah, sorry. Flying battery. We're sort of late on this, but still pretty cool. Uh, very revolutionary. Uh, Tuscany, what the hell did you do? How did you fail so bad? Oh my god. I mean, on the other hand, it's actually good for us, because then we, we get to expand, but still. I had no idea. Because it looked like they were sieging now in Rome, and all of a sudden, they released all of, th all of this back to the Papal State. That's crazy. You've got to love the AI just moving their troops around Russia without any idea of how to get around and fight me. I mean, maybe they're scared, maybe they like taking attrition. I have no idea. Oh my god, it looks like Aragon has actually integrated Burgundy. And now the map is just ugh. But the French are fighting them, so that's good. The Papal State has entered a coalition against us. Ooh. That's the first one. Although, even if, like, all these people joined, I still wouldn't be worried. Ah, that's cute. As much as I'd love to totally destroy the Ottomans, I think this is enough. We'll take all of this, we'll make them release Greece, and, uh, they'll give us some money. I think, uh, this is pretty good. People State will hate us even more. That's the weird thing, right? I'm fighting the Ottomans and they'll dislike me? That's... Uh, totally off. But anyway, let's send the demands. The borders may look disgusting right now, but trust me, they'll they'll be amazing once we integrate uh, Hungary here, which we're only four more four years away from, which is great. Ultimately, I'd like to conquer Greece, but uh, of course, that's not really what I want to do right now. But if I sent a warning. Does that count as a diplomatic relation? I know that guaranteeing is a di diplomatic relation, but maybe not a warning. Anyway, we'll uh, just keep an eye on them, hope that they don't ally too many people. And in 1796, we'll try to go on the offensive there. Uh, in the meantime, I thought, hey, you know what, let's threaten Trier. However, they... Uh, uh, apparently there's a truce. It's not a truce, I guess it's just because they're in a coalition against me, so I can't really do that. I realize, though, that a coalition, every single member, if I do attack a coalition member, every single member can call in their allies, and I had forgotten about that. So I'm not going to do that, but I do want Lubeck before uh, we end the campaign, though, because uh, otherwise my, na my name looks kind of disgusting, and they're still... The borders are still pretty shitty, to be honest, uh, even if, if we take Lubeck. But with Lubeck, at least we have a sort of a, a contingent a large empire, and not with like a big turn here and swallowing up. Ugh, it's just, it looks terrible right now. Apparently Castile doesn't hate me anymore, uh, but I still have quite a lot of diplomatic relations. We're no longer emperor and stuff, so I'm not sure if I want them on my side again. Although they are allied with France and Portugal, you know what? You're only at a light to France. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. Now, the great thing would be if we can uh, fund some separatists over here. Some Hungarian separatists. And uh, take all of this over peacefully. <clears throat> as much as I like being on top of the diplomatic or t technologies in general, I think that this uh, state propaganda is just... Great. We can finally sort of take that and uh, make people happy about us taking things. As much as I've been saying I absolutely hate this flag, I have to say I'm starting to get used to it, at least close up to the cities like this. Um, the uniforms, maybe not as much, but it's still, it's still revolutionary, right? It's totally different. It's pretty... it's in your face. Cologne has insulted us. How dare they? How dare you? 
I love how we uh, like heathens more than we tolerate heretics. I mean, I guess it's understandable, though. Because uh, the other is just another religion. Uh, the the heretics, they're trying to bastardize your, your own religion. Oh, nice. That's very nice. A pro proper application of pressure and levers has enabled us to squeeze a little more out of our vassals. Ah, the coalition is finally starting to dissolve. Wonderful. Now, yes, this is extremely expensive in terms of diplomatic power, but totally worth it. Totally worth it. It's gonna take a long time, but uh, yeah, we we need this. Diplomatic reputation, though, might... Oh, so if it was higher... I, I don't know. Whatever. Let's, let's do it. Damn it, so close. Only 10 points away from uh, being able to force Trier to see the faults there. Um, but yes, let's see. What claims do I have? I have that. Ooh. I could go to war with Saxony. That's an interesting option. Uh, who are they allied with? Oh, oh my god. They're still in the... Oh no, it's a trade league. The coalition is basically gone, I think. You know, I was just looking uh, how long it would take to integrate Hungary, and then all of a sudden the Ottomans sabotaged our reputation, uh, which screwed us up for a little bit there, uh, because now it's going to take until 1806. However, I'm going to rush for this idea here so that we increase our diplomatic reputation to positive 2, and... We are already positive. The sabotage goes away after a while, so I think I think we should uh, be able to do it before uh, 1800. Oh damn! What's this? Well, Poland and Lithuania and the Ottomans. Okay, big war, big war. God damn it! Not what I wanted, but fine. So, apparently the Hungarian Separatists would only rise up in Bogdan, but, you know, that's fine. Let's do it. The Enlightenment. Hmm. It's funny. We're re revolutionary and we still haven't discovered the Enlightenment. Uh, but we're finally back up almost on par with uh, the speed that we're supposed to be going, right, with technologies. Of course, we can't get this in uh, a year, but... Uh, next time we'll we'll have caught up, and then we can do religious ideas. So I've been preparing to fund rebels in uh, Portugal for a while and Greece, only to find out that oh wait, there are no Portuguese revolutionaries, apparently. So this is also again maybe I've said this, but please fix it. Like I want to be able to see the revolutionaries or the rebels rather before I commit to. Uh, storing up 60 action points. And just for fun, of course, let's go for espionage ideas, because I've never really chosen that. They're not amazing, but uh, since we're going to be supporting some rebels here and there, I guess it's, it's kind of fun. I got the tech a little bit early, but uh, let's go for the Napoleonic Square. Sounds fun. The honest broker, we're gaining an international reputation as a nation that will respect the interests of all its citizens and defends the, uh, the rights of others. Our domestic fair dealing is paying off in our neighborhood. Wow, I never thought that, you know, we're revolutionary and the world hates us, but I guess um, over time we're gonna win anyway. You know what, I think I'm gonna sign a separate piece because uh, I'm an asshole like that. You know what, I just realized we're not wasting a bunch of diplomatic power, but we don't exactly, we won't exactly have a lot, so let's actually choose a military idea instead, and I think we're gonna go for quality. Imagine the quality and quantity, that's just amazing. Anyway, let's do this instead. Alright, it's time for another war. Let's uh, attack Lubeck. I think people don't hate us that much anymore. So, yeah, it's time. We're gonna attack Lubeck, we're gonna be at war with a bunch of minor states. I guess the Papal State are, might also come in, but uh, I don't really care, you know. 
let's uh, let's just do it. No allies will join because they're all busy, and Portugal's like that's very far away. Russia's also busy, so let's do it. And we'll also have the ability to take out Saxony at the same time, which, which is great. Well, damn Castile, I didn't even know you owned a bunch of stuff here, but apparently you're losing it all. Uh, and why does Tuscany have an army down here? How did they get here? Did they go through France? <gasps> wow, France has all of that coast already. Uh, is this Spanish? Uh, but it's occupied by rebels. Is this British? It's British. Asia at least looks uh, pretty solid still. Oh my god, poor Tuscany. You're basically non-existent. I could vassalize you. You know that? That wouldn't be bad. Although we need uh, great relations for that. <sighs> Damn, Tuscany. Well, Saxony, welcome to the Empire. Welcome. Bremen, welcome to uh, Oldenburg. You've joined now. And uh, then also Hamburg is occupied uh, by us, I hope. Which I will take eventually. Ooh, we can construct the Kiel Canal. 10,000 ducats. You know what? Let's do it, just for fun. Albania, I'm very sorry, but I have to do it. Rome will be sieged down. We'll have a battle in Pisa. It's gonna be glorious. Oh, just this is this is going a lot better than I had expected. Not this war, but the game in general. Like in the beginning, I was afraid that I wasn't gonna be able to achieve much. And to be honest, I've been playing quite um, uh, defensively, or not defensively, but not very aggressively. So I'm actually quite surprised. Good leadership. Ninety days earlier. How long is it gonna take, actually? Does it say, in fact? Ah, 30th of October, 1804. So it's good. We started off early, and I think we're gonna be able to achieve that. We could even try to get... I was thinking earlier, like, hmm, what about the Suez Canal? I know, it's a little bit of a stretch. I could, like, I could have gone colonial, I could have done a bunch of stuff, but I... Since we played in Central Germany for the most part, I just ignored that, and um, I think going for the Kiel Canal is good enough. I'm almost considering taking Ultrecht and giving it to Oldenburg, but again, I think we, we've already given them quite a lot of provinces. I forgot to see if I could take Gel or... Actually, wait, we haven't pieced out with them yet. I just realized. Or have we? No, yeah, it's occupied by us. Good. Um, in fact, maybe we should check that first. Let's do it. Gelre will, or Oldenburg will get Gelre. All right, and the Battle of Siena, pretty intense here. Sorry, I mean Pisa. We already have Siena. Now I could offer peace all over the place, but uh, I'm trying to gather up points in order not only to offer the peace, but because we, if we waste too many points, we'll have to wait longer to integrate Hungary, which is a pain. All right, I can take peace with the Papal State at least. I was going to force them to do a bunch of stuff, but nah, whatever. I'm going to remove the national focus as well, because I really need that diplomatic power. Apparently, integrating Hungary is 10 a month now for some reason. Uh, no idea how that came about, but uh, in fact, can we get more diplomatic power from people? Or can we only use it? Alright, this is the peace deal. Let's do it. Trade League this Bandit as well, that's that's a good bonus. Now, my name did not stretch as much as I thought it would, uh, which is extremely disappointing, I must say. But however, uh, let me destroy this fort here. However, it's still pretty good, it's still pretty, pretty decent. Um, I guess we'll have to remove Austria and the others from, uh, out of the way. And, uh, once Hungary is integrated as well, I think it's, it's going to be nice. Lack of provision. You know what? Kelkanal will have to be completed later because I do not have 100 diplomatic power. Sorry. So we have a new mission to vassalize Tuscany, and I think that's a good idea. That was sort of the plan I was going for here. But uh, now that we have a mission, let's do it. Uh, we're currently at zero increase. Uh, so going minus one until the end is fine, I believe. 
Ah, uh, it's so cool. I mean, sorry, Tuscany, you've lost lots of territory and stuff, but at least you have cores all over the place on your cultural region, which, which we can use to our advantage. So, let's confirm this, and, uh, yeah, this is great. My Emperor Hungary accepted our irresistible proposal that took, like, 20 years to become part of our glorious nation. Yes, we lose diplomatic reputation, but our country looks so much better now. We just need to remove uh, Bohemia, the Teutonic Order, and Austria. And then I'll be a very happy person. Empress Concert has passed away, really? I did not realize that. Also, Tuscany, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to place a relative on, my, on the throne, just because I, I like that. But alas, it is March 1800, it's been uh, 26 years since we started off the episode, and over 20 minutes, so I think we're gonna end it right here, um, and we'll see you in the next episode. I really wonder what's gonna happen, I wonder, should we go... Ah, uh, no, I mean, there's 21 years left, it's not actually that much time, but it, it would, have, would have been fun if we had gone colonial, although the feas feasibility of that is actually sort of... I mean, I would have to have rushed a port, and then maybe taken something in Morocco, which, uh, I don't know. I don't think we could have done that, especially on this patch because of the sailors. Uh, but anyway, we're not ending the series just yet. We still have to clean out uh, some stuff here, and uh, then glory shall be to Ulm. This has been Game Gabster. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Farewell.